caving has always been great. Um, caving, you want to answer that question of what's around the next corner. That's like always the question you want to know. It's mostly fueled by curiosity. Um, but as you get into caving more and more, the scientific side of it comes into it. You want to know how did these places form? What happened here millions of years ago? What happened here billions of years ago? Basically, it creates a fascination with this whole environment. In my wildest dreams, I would never have thought that caving would take me to what's happening here. <laughs> you could almost call this a bit of an accident. So, my caving buddy and me, Rick, um, we were out exploring this cave on a Friday night. Um, we'd gone into a very remote section of the cave, part that I'd never been in before. And in that section, well, we stumbled upon fossils. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that first um, we didn't exactly know what fossils yet. We started looking around a bit more until we found a mandible, and that was when we knew this was probably hominid. That was when we got, got excited about it. <laughs> and since this discovery, it's <laughs> crazy what's happening here. Pedro Bosov is a geologist. Um, he's been caving in this country for 30 plus years and he was asked by Lee to basically go and look for fossils in deeper areas of caves and he'd then spoken to myself and Rick and a few others and said oh he needs us to come start looking for hominids <laughs> and on this whole expedition he has been in charge of the cavers coordinating who is here and what we have to do and getting everything organized for us since the start of this expedition, um, from the caver's side, we've been putting in over two kilometers of cabling. Those are for cameras, um, lights, communications within the cave. Um, we've also put up safety ropes straight throughout the cave for the safety of the scientists, making sure there's no injuries. And we're here for backup that in case something does go wrong, we are here to assist as soon as possible.